Campaigns have been held around Korea to help flower farms hit hard by the anti-graft law Im implemented last September. They include the development of small-size orchards as well as flower vending machines. Kim Mugan shows us how some industries are squeezing their creative juices to adapt and survive. This farm, located in Hwasong City, Gyeonggi-do Province, grows tropical orchids. Before the implementation of the anti-graft law, which limits the value of gifts people working in certain sectors can accept, it had an annual sales of over 1.3 million U.S. dollars. But that's fallen significantly since the law took effect, with people apparently looking for more frugal gifts. Many farms are having a hard time because demand for flowers has fallen by more than 30 percent. Some people are coming up with creative ways to help these farms boost sales. For example, a vending machine selling flowers of various kinds, skillfully designed or placed in a small flower pot. Government institutions have begun a campaign to buy at least one flower for every desk in their office. And it's also helping that smaller, more affordable orchids are hitting the market. Sales of flowers have been low with the current system, but I think consumption would increase if we make use of convenience stores and supermarkets. Farmers hope the latest efforts can change the idea that a gift of flowers has to be expensive, and that could mean we see more flowers in our daily lives. Kim Bo-gyeon, Arirang News.